Hi guys, Happy New Year. It's currently Sunday the 5th of January 2020 and welcome to week 208 of my weight loss journey. In last week's video, during the Christmas holiday week, we all saw I had another massive gain of 15 pounds, which is 6.8 kilograms, which in turn saw my body mass index go from 49 up to 51, which was back into an old body mass index classification. I'm going to start the proceedings off by reviewing my calorie consumption for the past week, which we can see in the graph above. The average of this was 2,942 compared to last week at 3,167. So it has reduced, but it's still above my 2,700 allowance. The main reason for this was eating the Christmas leftovers, but the main culprit was salted peanuts. I've been consuming a handful or so nuts each day and they are high in calories and hence why I've gone over pretty much each day. Um, my fluid consumption has increased from last week to 2,821 millilitres but it's still below my 3,000 millilitres that I like to achieve on a daily basis. So going forward on these two stats for 2020, I've decided to reduce my calorie consumption by 200 to 2,500 and my fluid consumption I've decided to increase from 3,000 millilitres to 3,500 millilitres. So that's what I'm going to try and achieve on a daily basis going forward. If we now look at my activity levels in the form of my step count for the past week, which we can see in the graph above, the average of this was 11,388 compared to last week at 1,585. So a dramatic increase in steps this past week. And that's exactly what I said I was going to do in last week's video. As soon as I got that 15 pound game result on that Saturday, the Sunday, the following day on the Sunday, I decided to do a big walk. And here's a little bit of that. Well, it's Sunday the 29th of December. I've just done my weekly video. You've all found out that I've nearly gained 30 pounds, 13 kilograms in the last two weeks. So to help me lose that weight, I've decided to come back and do the Sheffield Canal walk since I've not done it for a while. So uh, yeah, it's time to start losing those Christmas pounds. So I need to do something though, because um, I'm definitely feeling my jeans, my clothes to be a little bit tighter after this Christmas binge. So I think it's appropriate that I do this exercise and hopefully next Saturday when I get to Slimming World I'll uh, see a decent loss result. So the following day after the Sheffield Canal walk, I was pretty much knackered. My feet and legs were shot, but I still managed to fit in an extra 10,000 steps because I had a walk around Sheffield as well. Didn't do any filming of this, this was just general pottering about. And then, yes, uh, it was New Year's Eve, and of course there was absolutely zero uh, um, activity on New Year's Eve, but maybe up to a 2,000 steps thereabouts anyway. Then it was New Year's Day and I decided to go for a walk around Rover Valley and you can see a little bit about that here. Happy New Year everybody. It's the first day of 2020 and I've decided to come and do another walk. Burn off yesterday's indulgence, New Year's Eve. And I've come to Rover Valley for another nice walk. So I'm going to do a lap of this, see how many steps I can do, and uh, go from there. Hello? 
And after my short New Year's Day walk around the main lake of Rother Valley, which was only around about 7,000 steps, I then, on the following day, I decided to do, glutton for punishment, a walk back down the Sheffield Canal. Hi guys, it's Thursday, the 2nd of January 2020. And I'm a button for punishment because I'm doing the Sheffield Canal walk once again. And yesterday I was at the Rother Valley Park, did a little bit of walk there, just 7,000 steps, not that bad. So I decided to do this walk again, the Sheffield Canal walk. Why not? I want to try and make a big dent in my uh, weight gain that I've uh, had these past two weeks. So hopefully, by fitting all these, fitting in all of these extra steps, I'll be able to see some decent movement. After my second walk along the Sheffield Canal, I was pretty much shot, but I still tried to keep up as many steps as possible throughout the remainder of the week. So those were my stats for activity levels, but of course, since I've made a change to my calorie consumption and fluid consumption, I thought I might as well do a change to my activity levels as well for 2020. So currently I try and achieve 9,000 steps per day. So I'm gonna increase that by 1,000, round it off to the recommended 10,000 steps goal, which we all should try and achieve on a daily basis. This is the figure which you see most places nowadays. So that's what I'm gonna do. 10,000 steps is my new goal going forward. And that's what I would like to see as an average at the end of each week. It's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any of the Christmas weight I've gained over the last two or three weeks. So here it is guys, here's my Wayne. I weigh 170.6 kilograms, which is 376.2 pounds, or 26 stone, 12.2 pounds. This means in the last week, I've seen a loss of 8.5 pounds, or 3.9 kilograms. But if I compare this result to the result I obtained at Slimming World, you can see this right here. At Slimming World this week, I also saw a loss of 8.5 pound or 3.9 kilograms. As you know, in last week's video, I did mention I wanted to make a big dent in the weight that I've gained over the Christmas holidays. And I was expecting to see a bigger loss result, if I'm being honest, due to my activity levels, but I know my calorie consumption levels have let me down. So overall, I guess I can't grumble. But based on this week's loss result, it means that I've lost 29.8% of the weight that I've gained over the last three weeks. So it's a decent chunk, but there's still plenty more to go at. Based on this week's weight loss, it sees my body mass index go from 51 down to 49.8. And if we look at my third weight loss target, last week it was 23.6% complete. And after the loss, it goes up to 35.7% complete. So in the 208 weeks of being doing this weight loss journey, I've lost a total of 165 pounds, which is 74.8 kilograms or 11 stone, 11 pounds. Next week, obviously, I'm going to be working towards my newly set stats, my reduced calorie consumption, my increased fluid consumption, and my increased activity levels in the form of step count. I'm also going to be setting some long-term goals, or short-term, however you see it, throughout 2020. I'm wanting to achieve my third weight loss target by the 6th of April 2020. I'm also wanting to have achieved 25 weeks later on the 28th of September 2020, 50% of my fourth weight loss goals. So that's what I'm aiming for throughout 2020. Some very tough goals I think I've set myself, but you need to push yourself and that's what I'm gonna do. And other than that, guys, that is it. That is the end of this week's video. As always, if you'd like to continue following me along my weight loss journey, and see if I manage to achieve any of these recent goals that I've set myself, by all means, subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. 
I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you all again next Sunday.